and grand grinding and grand shining. How y'all doing today? Ooh, that light bright. <clears throat> y'all come on in. I went for a couple of people to join us. I'm finna um just speak on a couple of things real quick because I had a couple of questions about this um these tops that I'm doing. So I figured I'd just go live real quick and um tell y'all a little bit about it and just in case anybody wanna pop in and ask me questions about that or anything else, then you can do that. Alright. I know it's been a while since so I've been live. So um hey Facebook man, how y'all doing? I miss y'all. Mm, happy Sunday. Alright, so listen, check this out, y'all. For those of y'all who haven't seen my post, I have been doing this um or detox, so I'm gonna stand up just so y'all can see a little bit um, what's going on here. So, listen, I have um, been doing this detox, I just started doing it last week. The reason I decided to do the detox is not to lose weight. I decided to do it, I decided to do the um, detox because my stomach was swelling up, and I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about <clears throat> how um, eating meat affects me. And maybe, you know, you may understand or learn something about how eating meat may affect you, all right? So, um, I don't know if y'all haven't been following me or not, but last year, at the end of the year, um, from October to January, I did a 90-day no-meat um, diet. And so, I didn't eat meat for 90 days, and I actually felt really, really good. Um, I had a lot of energy. Um, I felt lighter. I didn't feel as tired and fatigued all the time. I didn't feel as lazy. And I actually feel like my mood was better, too, because I've also heard that um, eating meat, um, you know, makes people angry. It's a spiritual thing, though. And I get that. I'll explain that another time. I'm going to get all into that right now. But what happened was after January, the beginning of the year, I started um, doing some traveling and moving around. A lot of times when I'm on the road, which I do often... I am not able to eat the way that I want to eat because I can't get access to the foods. It's very, very hard to find, like, it ain't a whole, like, unless you're in the city, like, in, Atl in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, where I'm from, I every, when I go other places, they don't have a variety of vegan restaurants and stuff like that, you know, and I get, I don't want to just eat no french fries and salad all the time either because that gets old. So, you know, I actually started back eating meat and, um, not a whole lot of meat, but if I decide to eat some, I eat some. And so when I noticed that um, from me not eating meat for those 90 days and then when I actually decided to ingest some meat again, <clears throat> I noticed that my stomach started swelling up really, really bad. And um, at first I was kind of like, you know, I didn't really, I wasn't really for sure that's what it is. But the more I ate the meat, I noticed that my stomach wasn't going back down. And it was, it just hurt so bad. Like it, it wasn't gas. It wasn't, um... It wasn't like an eternal pain. It's just like my stomach just didn't feel right. And I think, like I said, I think it's because um, I had done got used to not ingesting the meat. When I didn't eat meat, my stomach was not swole. My stomach got slow. Like I said, it got so flat. And I was really surprised because I haven't seen my stomach like that in years. I have five kids, so it's um, really hard. You know, the more kids you have, stuff like that, you really have to work a little bit harder at trying to. Uh, keep weight off and you know what I'm saying you have to watch what you eat and stuff like that so I decided to try to keep the KOR slimming tea which is a 14 day detox diet now mind you I detox all the time because I have my own detox and you have it all have not um heard or seen it it's I'm not selling the detox I have a video on my YouTube channel at she boss talks which is S-H-I-I-B-O-S-S-T-A-L-K-Z. There's a video on my YouTube channel, and it tells you exactly how you can make a homemade detox for the low um, with ingredients that probably cost you less than $10 a month, all right? And you can do that every day. Now, if you do that detox, um, it's I call it the full of shit detox. If you do my detox um, and you use those ingredients and you use the regimen, if you do the process twice a day for 60 days, you will definitely notice a, a, a change in um, your energy. You'll notice a change in your um, digestive system. You'll definitely notice less swelling, um, less bloating, uh, more energy, easier focus, things like that. But 
sometimes like if you do something um repeatedly or consistently your body will get immune to it so i just decided to try a different type of detox or somebody else's detox because of course um i do that detox pretty frequently that's just like a weekly detox that i do anyway and plus i wanted to try something that was a little bit stronger that detox that i do the full of shit detox is more of a mild detox so you can really do that every day the keisha kayor detox is mild. excuse me it's not mild it actually has really good results but it's not something that you want to do um, every day because it's probably, you know, too aggressive for someone's system to just take on a daily basis. So it's just a 14-day detox, okay? So I did it, um, and I have not stepped on the scale. I didn't even weigh myself because I wasn't actually trying to lose weight. I was just trying to lose my stomach. But by detoxing, when you start shitting on a daily basis, you're going to lose weight, you know what I'm saying, by default anyway. Some people that are trying to actually lose weight and wanting to detox as a jump start or help them to assist with the weight loss, then <clears throat> you may need more than one bag, all right? Because I am only trying to reach a certain goal. I wanted to fit some outfits for my birthday, which is in a, in a few weeks. So that's mainly why I didn't want to have um, the bubble guts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't like the, the, the puffy stomach look. It's not my thing. Um, and I don't feel like it's accommodating with the rest of my my my, uh, my figure, my shape. You know what I'm saying? And since I've been working out and trying to get myself um, <clears throat> healthier on a spiritual level, then um, I am definitely, I've actually started detoxing back from not eating meat uh, as well because I don't want the swelling to come back even after my birthday. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, after my birthday, I think I'm going to do another 90-day challenge for the no meat. I'm already preparing myself because I have pretty much stopped eating meat again. I do pescatarian, which means I eat seafood, I eat vegetables and stuff like that. Um, and I still eat, I still eat some, t I eat cheese sometimes, but I don't drink regular cow milk. I actually drink almond milk now. Um, not really been eating eggs. Mucus is a really bad thing for, um, for your body. It keeps all kinds of sicknesses in your body. And like I said, I'll, you know, get into another video that uh, another, another, at another time. If y'all interested in hearing about it, then you can check out more about that on my YouTube channel. But <clears throat> I just wanted to tell y'all a little bit about the detox. And this Thursday, I will be doing a free, 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 free webinar, okay, about the personal credit cleaning. I've been cleaning my credit for over the past year. I have raised my credit score over 100 points in the past year. My credit was shot to shit. Last year was like a three, a four thirty-five or something. It was really bad. All right, so now it's up to like a six thirty-ish something. So, um, which it fluctuates, you know what I'm saying, from month to month, doing my bill, paying, pay, um, paying off cars and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> if you are somebody that wants to learn how to clean your own credit, that's why I'm doing this free webinar because it's so easy to clean your credit. It doesn't really cost you anything but time and commitment all right if you put a little bit of time and commitment towards cleaning your credit within six to eight months you know or, or less maybe a little bit more depending on how many how many things you have on your credit to clean then um you could get that done and you may not even have to pay off the debts that you owe to get the credit clean or disputed all right so that's something that a lot of people don't know i know some of y'all are probably out there paying lexington law and some of those other um credit cleaning companies to clean your credit and if you're experiencing results with them then you know by all means continue to use them but um i did when i came home i did lexington law for like three months i didn't see no significant changes i didn't even receive any dispute letters or, i mean any type of um letters or anything from the credit company so i just didn't feel like they were actually doing anything to clean my credit and so um <clears throat> and I, I realized that if a company can clean my credit, then it must be a way for me to find out how to do this myself. So that's what I did. I, I set out on a search to figure out how to clean my own credit. And I actually did. I came across it. The information is free. But the thing is, most people don't want to take the time to go do their research and find out, you know what I'm saying, the information on how to do stuff. If you learn how to clean your credit, <clears throat> you can actually start helping other people clean their credit. There you go. You know what I'm saying? You got another little side hustle which can turn into a legitimate business. <clears throat> I don't want to clean people's credit because it's time consuming and I don't like dealing with people that much. So I want to be able to still help other people learn how to clean their credit and learn how to help other people clean their credit. That is the purpose of me doing a free webinar. I'm going to do the free webinar, but I'm not giving you the sauce for free. I am selling 
the information on my website already. If you haven't heard, you haven't seen it, you can actually go and get the um, the step-by-step do-it-yourself instructions on my website. It's a PDF download. As soon as you purchase it, go to your email. You can start cleaning your credit today, all right? And one thing about cleaning your credit, let me tell y'all something. A lot of people don't know. You Once you know how to clean your credit, you can clean your credit whenever, okay? I'm not telling you to go back and mess your credit up after you clean it, but <clears throat> it's always good to know how to do it because... You can do it again, all right? So that's a good thing about learning how to clean credit. The other reason I'm doing the free webinar is because I realize that a lot of people, especially people in the hood, don't even understand the benefits of having credit and why you need to have you some credit, all right? So if you don't have um, messed up credit and your credit's not messed up, I also will be teaching you how you can actually start building your credit. It's very easy to start building credit. Credit is like extra money, okay? If you ever go broke, and you don't have any credit or no no cash, then you really broke, all right? But if you have some good credit and you go broke, you can still come up. You're not really broke because you are worth a little bit more, and you can actually tap in and access the the um, the credit line, okay? You can turn that into cash, and then you can actually start doing some things to start generating some more money. So we call that using your credit to leverage your your financial situation to be able to use that to come up and um start making some other money all right so that's what i got for y'all today man i hope that um you know you think about signing up like i said it's free um you can ask me any questions that you have about that um don't be shy like i said it's something that um pretty much the average person can do it's not really that complicated the instructions are one page long all right so it's not a tedious process and it's really not as difficult as people think so for less than a pair of Jordans or, you know, your la your latest lace front, you can actually learn how to clean your credit and have a legitimate uh, future sustain, all right? So <clears throat> that's what I got for y'all today. If y'all got any questions about the, the weight loss tea, if you inbox me, I'm not really on Messenger. I may check my Messenger like once a week. So Keisha Kaior, all right? That's Gucci Man's wife. Y'all don't know. She has a website. It's called Kaior Fitness, all right? That's k-a-o-i-r fitness.com all right i don't have any type of affiliate links i'm not getting no discounts and i'm not getting paid to promote this project i'm just i mean this product i'm just telling y'all about my personal experience with it all right so that's what i got for y'all today thank y'all for joining me thank y'all for tuning in and i'll see y'all soon peace